Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Hithil. I'm Anuja. And today we're going to show you a very traditional Tamil dish called mm -hmm. Kire Molagutal. Now, Kire means spinach. Mm -hmm. And uh, what basically it's made in the southern or border regions of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. So, uh, very, very traditional dish. And of course, the star is the spinach. Mm -hmm. Yep, and we have some nice fresh spinach leaves here. Mm -hmm. And this is about eight cups packed. Like we really packed it in there and it looks like a lot of spinach. But as we know, spinach is going to cook down and <laughs> compact into very little. So we're going to need this much. So we have our spinach in the pot and to that we're going to add in a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and about a half teaspoon of salt. Now that is to taste. I also have one cup of water. And we're going to take this to our stove and let it cook uncovered until all the spinach kind of wilts down. So meanwhile, what we have already done actually is we've uh, we washed half a cup of turda. Make sure it run, the water runs clear. Mm -hmm. And then we put it in the pressure cooker, put one and a half cups of water into it, half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. And we allowed it to whistle once and turned off the flame and allowed the pressure to go down by itself. And this is ready. So here you go, this is what it looks like. And our spinach is starting to wilt down. Just gonna give it a little toss and help it along. And some of the leaves are still not cooked yet, so we're gonna continue cooking this a little further. And we allowed it to cook for two or three more minutes and everything is perfectly wilted and perfectly cooked. So we're gonna switch off the stove. So while the spinach is cooling down, we are going to uh, grind a few uh, ingredients. We've got one third cup of shredded coconut, freshly shredded coconut, one teaspoon of cumin seeds whole, and dry red chili to taste. Also depends on how spicy your chilies are. Mm -hmm. And our spice grinder is really, it works really well, but if you don't have a spice grinder and you need to use a blender, you can use a little bit of water to help that to grind. That's perfectly fine. So our spinach has cooled down a little bit, and to the spinach we're gonna add our cooked dal with the liquid. So you're going to take an immersion uh, blender and just slightly blend everything. Now the texture is entirely up to you how you want to keep it. Uh, when my kids were little I used to make a smooth paste but um, traditionally it's got a little chunks and it's a little, got a lot of texture to it. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can do the same thing in a blender, but just be sure you pulse so you don't get a fine puree, but you have a little texture. So just to show you the texture, if you can see, there is uh, pieces of full spinach and then there is some that is just ground up well. So I'm going to turn the stove back on, or again on a medium, and here's what the ground paste looks like. We're going to add it in and give it a mix. At this point you can also check the salt and adjust if you need to and we're going to let it come to a boil and then work on the seasoning. Now if you need to add in additional water you can. What you've done is just added a little bit to the grinder and I'm just going to pour that in and we're going to allow it to come to a boil. So in a small tarka pan we have one tablespoon of ghee heating up. We're going to add in half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, allow them to sizzle. One eight teaspoon of hing or asafoetida. 1 tablespoon of chana dal, give it a 30 second head start, 1 teaspoon of urad dal, now allow the dal to change a little color and to that we will add in a couple of sprigs of curry patta. and immediately add it to the spinach dish and give it a mix and just allow it to come to one more boil. So our spinach curry is ready. Mm -hmm. Beautiful That's color. Right. Mm -hmm. Now this is, like I mentioned earlier, it's a very traditional recipe and a very traditional dish, um, which I don't think anybody outside of that region has ever heard of, but I wanted to share this with you. It's usually had with, you know, rice and the skiramala butter and some, uh, it goes really well with some yogurt and some absolutely sour pickle. Pickle. Mm. So yum. It looks really good. It looks really hearty. <laughs> so can't wait to try it. And you know, for all the spinach lovers out there, this is yeah. perfect, yes. Mm. 
very hearty, like a very homey dish. Yes. I like it. Comforting. Absolutely. That's the right word yeah. for it. Yeah. So if you like this recipe and you'd like to see more from us, please don't forget to subscribe because you'll be the first one to know anytime we post a video and it's absolutely free. Mm -hmm. So enjoy your spinach curry and join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life. Mm -hmm.